Impact Wrestling fans, what's going on? This is BQ. This is the Impact Lounge. Hit subscribe if it's your first time swinging by the channel and you're a positive Impact Wrestling fan. So good news on the Impact Wrestling front today. Eli Drake has re-signed with the company. Now this was previously announced as a contract extension by Impact Wrestling itself. But Impact mega fan Mike Johnson and PW Insider have confirmed that it is a long-term contract and that his future with the company is secure. Now what I had been told recently that there was more of a chance he was out the door than staying, but that doesn't mean he was going to resign, but I think he was really exploring his options and, you know, without knowing the guy personally, I think it was probably a pretty tough pretty tough decision for him because this is a talent that really should be a household name and unfortunately he's kind of not. You know, he he's someone who should have 100,000 Twitter followers and you know, just, just a household name, like I said, and, uh, it's not really the case with him, but I think he knows he, he's, he's a loyal guy. And I think he knows that if he were to go to, um, another company such as the NXT brand, he very well could be lost in the shuffle. I mean, that is a con that is a company who was signing, just signing people just to sign them. They're signing everybody. And it's so, uh, it's so oversaturated the product that they're doing. I mean, how can you really stand out? Winning a title in that company right now, in the WWE brand, I should say, means means absolutely nothing. So if, if you're one of those people, you know, I don't talk a whole lot about social issues and stuff here on the channel, but if you're one of those people who, who don't believe that everybody should get a participation trophy, then you know what I'm talking about. Because over there, everybody's a champion. I mean, who go up and down the roster. Who, who hasn't held a title in that company? You know, you, you can find a handful of people. So I think Eli Drake knows this is kind of the place to be for him to do what he wants to do. And he's loyal to the company who really, who, the one who didn't show him the exit, who didn't show him the door and wants to give him the opportunity. Now, his global title run, I think, was a little underwhelming. I don't think it delivered the way that we had hoped that it would. But I don't totally put him in that, you know, put him at fault with that because I don't think he had a worthy opponent. I think that if Austin Aries came and they actually built a feud between the two of them, then yeah, you know, I, I think, uh, especially if Eli Drake would have won that feud, then I think that would have been a different ball game, but to have him drop the title so quickly, you know, not really have a much of an opponent, you know, they, they paired him up with Johnny impact and overall people weren't too excited about that. And then they had the really good main event at bound for glory. And it was really overshadowed by the, uh, the overbooking with El Patron and everything. And of course he had the ugly title, um, you know, and I keep, you know, talking about it. it was the green ropes and it was still the Jarrett stuff. You know, even though Jarrett was gone, it was still still a lot of his, uh, you know, stank, if you will, in the company because the uh, tapings were already in place. So I would like to see him get a title run under this regime. I think that would be a totally different ball game. And um, I still think he's a great candidate for longest reigning impact wrestling champion. I think he's the, he's the perfect guy to to do it. I mean. Take think about WWE. They're constantly trying to break records of people who are no longer with the company. You know, they did it to Demolition. They and then they did it to people like AJ and Punk, who, um, you know, they got, maybe have a personal vendetta against or, or whatever it is. You know, but Bobby Roode still holds that freaking record for Impact. Um, no longer with the company. So let's put the title, you know, um, on someone. Who can who can run with it and, and hold it for a year? Like Eli Drake is the guy that does can do that, but now with the new partnerships, he can have meaningful feuds with baby faces because you don't just have to limit yourself to the Impact roster. Now you can you can bring people in from Lucha Underground and other places, and you know. So this is really good news. You know, my personal opinion is that he wasn't gonna stick around. Um, that's that was just kind of my gut feeling, but I'm glad that I'm wrong. Because he's a, he's a wonderful talent. And let's just hope he shines and he gets, you know, what he what he deserves. Because it took so long for him to hold the you know a title period when he got the King of the Mountain Championship. Like it it just took so long. I think he was in the Grand Title Tournament. I think he might have, um, I think he lost right away in the first round, or maybe it was the second round. I think he might have lost to Aaron Rex. But man, this is good news. So um, so really good stuff. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments about uh, Eli Drake. I know everyone's really excited about it. Everyone, Pretty much everyone is an uh, Eli Drake fan. So leave your thoughts in the comments below. Can't wait to hear what you think. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.